With this style of fly, you're going to use a longer leader and you're going to let the fly sink on its own. Oh, got, got him. him. Got him. Nice fish. Nice fish. That's a cutty. I'm going to have trouble doing that. Where'd he go? Come here. Ugh. Fish overboard? I think I'm going to have trouble doing fish that. Fish juggling. Where'd he go? Cuddy should have seen the brown he had eat up there. Yeah, he had a toad come at him. Tail comes up, goes back up, and you start getting a serpentine action out of the fly. And that's pretty unique. I mean, it gives you a whole other way of fishing the fly. And so I'm just going to go through. There's, there's nothing different about the flies other than the way they're headed. And this one's got a little tungsten bead on it. And same thing, it's a small crayfish pattern, lots of rubber legs, two-tone tail. Of course, you've got your standard JJ, which is a great vertical jig fly. You know, we can, that one would pull your line down. I've got a sump here. This is the, I showed you the sump in the original uh, basic flies in olive. I just grabbed one in the tan. The bead head, or the bead eyes, the lead eyes are on the bottom. So again, it's going to drop and swim. You're going to get a serpentine action out of it. And these we've already seen, we saw uh, the peanut envy, conehead, light fly. It's heavy enough to sink the fly and come back up and down. My absolute favorite bait fish pattern, I, I fished this a lot in the last two weeks. This is called a articulated smoke wagon. And this one has the Roman Mauser head on it. The rain button. He doesn't like you. This about fell out of the boat for that one. Come here. Show Oh. Little rain. <laughs> he took a little swimmer. Yeah, I switched over to a white and olive uh, articulated smoke wagon. Had one, uh, one brown. I just started slowing down. I'm jigging it more than anything. I'm just kind of popping it along on the bottom in those little pockets. But they're not a, the water must be a little cooler than it's been. I had another guy look at it. Just hitting all these little small pockets hoping for fish that are, there's one, eat it. Oh, he came and got it. That was a brownie. There he, oh. Came back. Gave me the second chance. Three times the charm. Mm. Better fish. Better nice fish. Bow. Oh, rainbow. That's a bigger bow. Hey, get away from there. That? I think I'll net him up. We're in this fast water. That's better. They're growing. It's a thick one. Getting bigger. They're growing. They're growing. Holy but truly. Water temp's going up. Not necessarily designed to fish on a dry line, but these are all great applications for a dry line. And of course, you can just adapt any of the flies you want to do that. 